folks, it's me again. This is my weekly what's new. <clears throat> um, this should be <coughs> sometime in January by the time we get this video. Um, sorry, the microphones. I found it. I charged it. I don't know if it's going to die in the middle of this thing, but who knows? It's a good microphone. It's a Lang. Lang I don't know how to say it. Look it up. It's a microphone. It's in one of my videos. Um... I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, wonderful holidays, wonderful New Year's, Happy New Year's, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, all that kind of stuff. Hope everybody's in good health and everything's good. Hope everybody had fun. Got lots of presents, whatever you celebrate. Ah, that's good enough. Um, what's new? I got a few cool tools coming. I got a, picked up a nice new vice. You might have seen it on a couple of pictures on my Instagram. <clears throat> if you go on Instagram, it's uh, Gunnawagi, Utah. You can sp learn how to spell Gunnawagi on my this youtube channel um also for my new subscribers thanks for subscribing thanks for watching thanks for clicking like thanks for leaving comments and thanks for being funny <coughs> also um i just uh, joined the channel i forget what it is but uh there's chloe the wiener dog if you're watching this uh, hello chloe i like wiener dogs they're awesome what else is new um the shop will be moving eventually it's coming along slowly it's getting there i don't know when but uh there's news they put some more lights up in the new shop still full of stuff uh, things are out there uh i did a little work on my um um sound blasting box i got a few new tools i got some crazy idea i'm gonna be chopping this thing up and making some out of it stay tuned it's kind of a it's just an idea i had to see if it works it's probably like money wise not worth it but stay tuned you'll see it got a few new tools to review yes i've been buying a few more tools these are little odd ones you'll you'll probably know what type of tool i bought because you know, I have a mild obsession with these kind of things. So, <clears throat> you'll see. Um, what else? I picked up some random crap. Um, what else? I think it's about it, really. Not a whole lot. lot. Nothing's really moving. It's freezing here. The weather is not the um, normal weather. So, I guess uh, nobody's paid enough taxes in Canada. So, climate change hasn't gone away. Because apparently, if you pay more taxes, it just goes away. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Just relaxing over the holidays. Tomorrow I'm going to try to come in here and do some more work. Uh, the big red, I've been just buying more parts for it. <coughs> I'm still working on the sandblaster in my spare time. And kind of taking my time because I don't want to like finish, be halfway through a job and have to move the entire shop in the middle of it. So I'm just floundering a little. So I'm going to try to do some other kind of odd jobs. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it really. Still gonna be rib nutting that thing, working on the bike, getting a few odd parts that because I got an 85 right here and putting back together right this frame, and there's an 86 frame. <coughs> I think I'm gonna try to get the frame rolling first, and then sounds as stupid as this is. I'm gonna try to get all the parts to get it rolling and then take it all apart and have it painted so I can put it all back together. Does it sound plausible? I guess it's kind of like mocking it up first, which I have all the parts. And put it back together. The 85 one, I still got to take the back rack. Give it a good sanding. See if I can weld out some of the dings on it. Because I just want to... I don't want to JB weld. It's going to be a back rack. I don't want... It's not too weld, too ugly. But I want to do a little spots here. And sand it down and get it going. I don't want to put a Bondo or a non-metal filler in there. So it can just get chipped out. I want it like metal. So I'm going to probably give that whole frame a wire brushing... Um, but th this rate's probably gonna be spring by the time it gets done. <coughs> but if I get that thing all cleaned up and primed to where I want, I could probably send it out to get that painted and the front rack, which is sitting here. I don't think they're dented. I don't think they're bent. I gotta go see if the uh, emotional support bike is still running. I'm probably gonna drive it in here and uh, give it oil change, maybe. I think the Chinese battery is toast. Like <coughs> last time it was cold, it wouldn't start. Started up on a kickstart though. Boom, good old Honda. I'm still looking for a front. I got to find a front hub and the rest of the rear axle. I need the transmission and a few other things. So I'm probably going to buy the rear hub. I need the rear hub and then the transmission. And I need a, a rear drive shaft. <coughs> I'm not sure if a standard 85 drive shaft fits on 86. I would assume because the transmission's the same. I think just the axle. The axle. <laughs> that doesn't look too good. The axle on the back is, I think, different. And... I'm going to check on the 86, because I got a drive shaft with the 86, and I have a drive shaft with the 85. I want to see if they're the same. In fact, they're starting on the floor here. 
and <coughs> I don't know jack about motors. I'm probably going to try to buy a motor. I'm either going to buy a motor or a donor bike sometime in the spring. Once I get that one rolling, I'm going to start cleaning off. Well, I'm going to try to get this rolling so I mostly by the time I get into the new shop so I can sit it there and get it rolling. I found the, um, what do you call it? Somebody <coughs> graciously online um, shared the somewhat good color of rattle can red paint for the front um was it triple t or they call it triple i don't know the front forks as they call it i'm going to try to get the um paint <coughs> matching for the forks am i going to redo the fork uh, bearings probably not right now i'll do it later i just want to get the bike back rolling and i'll work out some other details i probably should but i mean if i get a new shop on it i'm probably going to take a bench <coughs> maybe i'll redo the if they're still good i i don't think there was anything wrong with the front bearings to begin with the bike wasn't abused I mean, it probably was but my brother used to drive it and the person he got it from didn't really abuse it either he drove it around it was pretty decently cared for <coughs> but i'm gonna lay out all the front forks get the forks put it back on the rear swing arm is on the floor behind me i'm gonna probably send that out to be blasted and painted they did a such a good job painting this thing and it was cheap so i'm like you know what i'll get them to paint it but i'm gonna lay it all out put it back together try to get the chassis rolling and then i i have some surprise things i bought online to clean up the engine i will probably drop the engine back in it and then start piecing it all back together since i have a emotional support bike that i can look at and go oh that's where the wires go but apparently I hear all the clips go together so there's no there's no like odd wires that all clip the same there's only one clip for each thing I will probably, uh, since I have a bucket of parts here, <coughs> I'm going to try to get the sandblaster working soon and go through the parts. I've got, I've been compiling little tiny things, extra bolts, extra this, extra that. I haven't gone on Honda's website and cleaned out some of the nice new bolts because I haven't got there yet. I mean, I went through the, what was it, a Partzilla or I don't know what it was, um, not Partzilla. I don't know. There's some parts website you go on. You can just pick all the parts. I haven't really gone through that. There's an, I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of the new bolts. There's a lot of newer bolts still available. So whatever is new, I'm going to try to pick up and just replace. I got to take a the rear um, rack. There's a a bolt that was forgot to take off in there that I forgot to take out before I sent it out. So I'm going to try not to scratch the paint too much on that one. <laughs> I know I'm going to scratch the hell out of it, but. Uh, well, it is what it is. So with that said, I want to get the Honda back together. <coughs> what am I going to do with the emotional sport bike? Well, my daughter can drive that. I'll drive that one and uh, work on the 86. 86 is missing an engine. For, at most, it, it, it's an engine. Uh, I do have an extra few other little... It needs fenders. <coughs> I have a scrappy new set of fenders I bought. But, you know, I'm thinking I'm just going to buy it repro fenders because it's just back fenders you need the trunk on it a couple of it, it doesn't it's not missing much got the wiring harness i got most of it um i need two rear i'm probably gonna have to buy some rear wheels and a front wheel and so i'm trying to knock out all the smaller stuff i see cheap like i got the whatever you don't want to hear it anyway the bikes are getting worked on <coughs> the shop is going to be moved it's going to be a forklift involved, moving some stuff. Uh, they're not attaching it to my car because they always want to put chains on my car. I'm going to have a bunch of people push it over there. Um, for the most part, once they, I think they're supposed to move the tractor soon. So I clean out a spot, start taking some of the smaller stuff and just pile it in there. And we'll see where it goes from there. So nine minutes later, wasted all this time. That's what's new with me. I'm still working on a reporter, buying tools, <coughs> buying all kinds of crap I don't need. And uh, just, you know, it's fun. I'm collecting voice scripts too. Stay tuned. I've got a lot of more maybe interesting videos. Who knows? I don't know if you like them. But like, subscribe, click all the buttons, help me out, help the algorithm. And stay tuned. i got more stuff. Thanks for watching.